Hi guys, Steve here from Fubab on Airsoft in Leeds. So it's been a while since we've done any uh, videos and we thought we'd get back into the groove of doing them. And the first one I want to show you is a product that we put up on our Facebook page and on our website last week, which is the Senax Aurora uh, IR Night Digital Action Cam. It's a bit of a mouthful, but it is a, a tricky bit of stuff. So this is the actual camera itself. It has got a, just get into the externals first, it has got a standard tripod mount uh, and there is going to be a RIS mount available for it so you can actually mount it onto uh, standard uh, Picatinny rails. There's also going to be a, a J mount for uh, mounting it onto, onto your helmet. Uh, there is also somebody that's actually already done that kit but there's probably going to be one from uh, the manufacturers themselves. So it's a multifunction camera. Uh, let's just go with this side. So the, all the functions are controlled from the left hand side of the camera. So as you can see, it's currently in the off position. You've got camera mode, video mode, uh, constant. So it's recording 15 seconds all the time. When it feels a jolt, it records 15 seconds before and after or 30 seconds in total. And then you've got the Wi-Fi and settings menu down at the bottom. Basically to turn it on, you put into uh, into which mode you can turn the sounds off so you can be a little bit more tactical with it and then you just basically select which mode you want and then it makes another chime when it goes off on top you've got the record button you've got the uh, four buttons for the digital zoom and going up and down through the actual menus things of that nature and then the one that's really trick is the three types of settings so as you can see it's currently in day you've got a twilight setting so when the the light's starting to go and then you've got full night vision it is a manual fo uh, focus camera uh, which is your focus ring at the uh, the front as you would expect and then at the back you've also got a very nice clicky wheel that actually sharpens up the actual picture uh, for your eyes the viewfinder once you've actually got it up to your eyes, uh, the screen in there actually comes on. Soon as you move the camera away, it's got a sensor, so it's not eating the battery, but it's still recording. And then this little lever down here pops the eye uh, uh, viewfinder off, and you get access to the batteries and the SD card slot. So it's a it's a lightweight uh, action camera. It's not heavy uh, you know it would be quite easily to mount onto you onto your helmet you're not going to be like house brick on the front of your helmet you probably need some form of counterbalance uh, it uses like standard gopro batteries uh, there isn't an external port so you can't run a external battery uh, battery life depending on what you're running if you're running it with wi-fi it's about two hours um, obviously that's going to extend if you're running it in slightly different mode it's really good quality. Uh, obviously it's day currently in the shop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, home tonight. I'll take some pictures of where I'm actually gonna go and do some filming uh, in the daylight mode uh, with the actual, so you can see the quality. And then what we'll do is we'll actually flick it into night mode and twilight so you can actually see the quality of the actual Aurora. So stay tuned. Uh, it'll be down here somewhere, uh, picture in picture kind of stuff. And we will use uh, with and without an IR illuminator as well, so you can actually see the quality. Uh, I'm really impressed with this. Uh, this will be coming with me on my next Milsim night game. Uh, really looking forward to actually putting it out in the field. So stay tuned and uh, look out for part two very shortly. Right guys, so uh, some footage using a GoPro uh, taken outside my house. You can see there's something on drive. You can't see what it is. You definitely can't see if there's somebody hiding underneath it. I'm gonna to flick to the Aurora now and boom, you can see everything. You can see the color of the van. You can see the color of the uh, hedges, all the detail. You know, you're not gonna miss anybody if you're using this in a, a, a night game. It was filmed on the Aurora and then uh, re-recorded through the viewfinder on a, 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 an iPad. Pro, so the quality is not quite there what you would see normally. But what do you think? Leave us a message, we'd like your feedback.
Thanks very much for watching. Uh, Steve from Fubar Bundy.